everyone, it's Carolyn, here to provide another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings I channel for your awakening journey and ascension support. So today we're going to focus on April energies. I realize right now it's April 7th, but that's what they brought through to me just yesterday. So again, these energy updates talk about what's kind of occurring now and for this month, but we also talk about what's coming up down the road to after the particular month we're actually speaking of. So this is more than just April, but it's going to kind of give you a sense of where we're at collectively and where you may be at individually. And then of course, after I read the channel, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about some of the information that I'm getting as well and kind of summarize some of what has been said for you. So they use the same theme as they've been using for, gosh, at least the last six to nine months, which is the mountain that we are climbing and then moving on to the next mountain peak. And this time, as we reach the equinox, because remember, at the equinox, we were at the peak of the mountain, all right? We were all at the peak of the mountain. And then, essentially from there, it was moving down the slope of the mountain. I kept seeing these two different groups. However, that's kind of shifted now. So anyway, I'm going to explain that. It's in the channel and then we're going to talk a little bit about it. And I hope you take at least one thing away for your journey forward. So I'm Carolyn. I'm a channel. I'm a distance energy healer and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I offer these channels from the Light Keepers for your assistance along your awakening and ascension journey. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. If you've been here for a long time, I always appreciate having you here. So thank you so much. Down below in the description box, you're going to find a link that will take you to a free video on how to create flow in your body for health and wellness during these ascension times. However, what it ultimately does is takes you to my email list where I send you a channel a week of support through the Light Keepers. So you'll get that every weekend. So join me there too. All right, so I'm going to start reading this and then I'm going to get into a short overview of it, but it's a it's a, a significantly sized channel. So enjoy and then I will make some comments at the end and wrap it up. All right, here we go. Where are you going now? You've come from a long way to journey this time from where you have been to where you are going and growing now. For jump off you did from the equinox, the top of the mountain that you saw in your day. We've mentioned this before, and now you fly high, and some of you begin over again, we say too. Sliding down the mountain, you see the next mountain in your way. For some of you will fly, and others will climb down to the bottom of the mountain. So this is the split. Others will walk a treacherous way, taking a path. A difficult road of the journey ahead. All of you are going there. It doesn't matter who you are in your day. But many of you in the collective have chosen a different way, one that creates fear and anger and frustration too. It depends on what you look at. Are you going down the mountain again or will you jump off and leap, starting to fly with the wings that you were given? So know that as those of you fly across the chasm to get to the next mountain, you will encounter winds in your way. As those on the floor of the bottom walk through treacherous times of things they chose to put in their way. And those of you who are flying, the winds will buffet you and it will not be as smooth as you think just because you are not walking on the ground to the next mountain. But understand, it does not matter which way you will get there, but flying, oh, you have come this far to be able to be given the grace of the wind. And understand the work you have done to come to this place is not to succumb or be taken down where the others are walking, but each to their own, they have chosen, it's true. Some will fight and battle and draw their swords until they come to the next mountain and then they climb up again. For remember, each to their own in their day, for it is a collective effort. Many have chosen a different way in time. And yet you too, who are light workers, now the first wave of you going through, will create the canopy of the flight that you will have in your way, that will assist you as you hold up the light where the others are going. Moved and forced by the winds though, you will be taken off course at times in your day of the pathway that you see. You may have to go a longer route, we find. 
But what you do in the ethers is you fly as the light worker that you are today. You protect the others with the canopy that you've put over them. They are the ones that will have their eyes opened in time. But right now they fight in the way that humans are used to. But it is with purpose. The sides are splitting out. You can see them walking two different pathways from above. And yet you fly over the top, allowing them the grace of some protection. For the light that you offer will buffet what is coming down in their way. And so then I say, okay, I'm seeing this. Okay, there are light workers all over flying off the top of the mountain that we were shown being on top of at the equinox. But now we're flying off. You've talked about this for well over six months, that we'd be sliding down the slope to the next mountain, and that each mountain is higher, which is basically the representation of the vibration that we're reaching, higher and higher frequency. But it's also into the higher dimensions. And yet what you showed me recently before we did this was that we were standing on our tiptoes at the top of the mountain at the equinox, and we had our arms spread out, and we were ready to what looked like fly. But what I couldn't tell then is whether we were going to fly or we were going to come sliding down the mountain. But if we recall back a couple months ago, we saw this, that the collective was going in two different directions as they were coming down the slope. But what I didn't see at the time was what I saw on the equinox where those of us as light workers at the top were actually going to fly. Now you're showing that to us. So this is very much the splitting off of what's happening now. And yet we're providing the canopy for those who are down in the thickets. And there's like different paths it will take to get to the next mountain. I'll just say it's more difficult, but in a different way. And yeah, you said, oh, they're trudging their own pathway. And yet what we have to remember is this is all collective. And we are here to assist the others that are coming on the ground. And that really is representative of the 3D, the human way, the struggle on the ground, and the suffering and the strife and the fear and the anger and all of that that we see. And yet we're up high, holding the light, holding the canopy to the next mountaintop. And the next mountaintop is the new frequency and the new vibration and moving to the higher dimensions, continuing in that direction. And this is the visual you're giving me. Oh, wow, the, the equinox was huge for launching off. We're flying now. Many of us are flying now. We've chosen that. We've gotten to that point where we've shed so much karma. We've learned so many lessons. We now are launching off and protecting those who are walking the earth in the difficult ways that we see in strife every single day in our 3D world. And they say, yes, yes, you will create your own pathway. For this is for you to create. You begin to understand who the new you is. And the new you comes from the things you choose to do in the days of lighter grace. Little things you may think, but they are not. For you will no longer be determined by the old pathway. This is the launching off for you. For you'll bring the others up with you, even though it may not look like it. For the split out is on the ground. Different pathways... They're going to choose. And I said, yes, I'm seeing that. So it's like the ground battle is what we're seeing as we fly above. But that's also representative in what we actually see in our 3D world right now. And then they say, yes, it's true. But you have created the beginnings of the new earth with what you have chosen to do, each to your own, even in little ways. Relationships with others, things you choose to do, shifts in your own pathway, how your days are spent, and those you choose to offer your time. But the energies have lifted you up. You have all seen this and felt this in one way or another in your day. Since the equinox, you're reaching a new equilibrium. For this is what we have said long and true, that this year was all about creation of you. And within you, you will begin the new earth in time as you're doing right now. From the inner work you have done. And you are launching off on the day of the equinox. Flying high now into the skies. Protecting those who are underneath you. Fighting the ground battle. And I said, oh yes, I'm seeing this. So it's really the first time we're flying in these new energies. These new after equinox or new era 
age of Aquarius energies we're now flying and we've always talked previously about how we've been walking along the ground there are different pathways but we're all going to the same place like hiking trails different pathways but now this is the first time we're in the sky we launched off from that mountaintop and we're flying we've launched off at the equinox and flying but we're getting our wings oh you just said proving grounds oh testing grounds okay so what I see is our wings are still wet that makes so much sense so that when we're flying sometimes we don't really know where we're flying and we're all still kind of getting our wings as light workers oh that makes so much sense okay wow I have a lot of energy around this so this is all right now kind of about creating out out of what we do each day for ourselves how we treat ourselves how we operate from the inside out how we continue to grow in ourselves that's kind of the shaky wet wings part of this and getting our flight and what we want for ourselves what we shed what no longer serves us the inside out job that is us gaining our flight and so now we're trying to fly and it feels difficult one day and then that then the next it's easier getting more of our wings underneath us oh you just said buffeted by the winds of time yes exactly and these days have been difficult and, and yet they've been incredibly different too and rewarding in a strange way and so what we're seeing is all these beautiful like you're showing me butterflies now coming out with all these wet wings as I saw earlier but they're being buffeted around by the winds but we're getting our wings and what we're doing now and you're showing this is we will over the course of the next month we will be lifted up continuing to lift up over the next months and you just said by the headwinds the winds will lift us up as we gain our momentum and we're going to be flying through April and lifted up by the winds but we're like butterflies on the winds like a migrational pattern is what you're showing to the next mountaintop we're finding our wings over April the new creation of us what we've learned and now we're beginning the creation of our new collective pathway and everything we do assists us because we're building from the inside out but it assists the collective and everything we do for those on the ground fighting the battle in the 3d walking trudging to the next mountaintop whereas we're flying and assisting the collective and everything we do for ourselves assists those on the ground those on what is truly 3d the fear the fighting the arguing all that we see day to day and they're all coming where we're going but they're not flying right now we're flying and we're holding up the light for them and we're getting our wings and they say yes for you're headed to the new mountain path in your day you will see it it's true the light beacon for you will eventually know where you're going over the course of time this month is energetic for you will know differently in your pathway at the end of the month you will see with new eyes as you journey to the middle of the year for it is a larger perspective you will have in the summer for you are on this journey to the next mountaintop for then you will come closer to the next peak a higher frequency and dimension in your way with the work you have done we give you gratitude for all you've risked and offered and sacrificed and yet the beauty you see buffeted by the winds of this great ascension will occur too you're headed to where you will land in the summertime of the June in your way for the collective will begin a new journey shift and change will be coming out for the mid of the year for things will shift and change in time for we grant you pleasure feel your wings and know how you can fly in your day understand that this is the beauty of the beginning of the age of the energies of Aquarius for this is the true entry point you are now just getting your wings stronger you will grow over the course the more you will fly coming out of the cocoon in your day joining other light workers of your kind for the strength and the numbers will grow so march forward buffeted by the winds and time and the things that you encounter in your individual journey we say never give up for we are always with you your angels and guides next to you call on us for the flight of the journey that is beginning now in time we leave you in light and love this day now and forevermore the light keepers so this is shifted if you remember the other videos that I've done at the equinox we were all standing at this mountaintop we were at the tip and what we've done as I've said before is we've 
shed so much, all of us, right? Light workers are showing the way, the first wave. Now we're at that mountaintop at the equinox. But then what happened at the equinox totally surprised me when I got this channel. Some of us are flying now. We're taking flight. We're getting our wings, okay, from the work we've done. Remember, the inside job, the work we've done. We're now flying over those on the ground where the strife and the fighting and the warring and all this that we see literally every day in the news if you're, you know, attuned to what's going on and hopefully you don't stay there too long. You just get enough sense of things. But what's happening now is many of us have launched off and come out of that cocoon with the wet wings. And so what they're saying here, obviously, is just because we're flying now doesn't mean it's going to be beautiful. Because imagine this, you're a monarch butterfly and you're flying south. Imagine the winds that you encounter. So we still are going to encounter our own stuff. It's just going to be very different. And in doing so, we are now starting to pro provide a form of light worker protection for those who are fighting their way forward on the ground, okay? And there's different pathways on the ground for those who are there in the strife and the fight of the human 3D, those who have not been part of this first wave or light workers are woken up, are finding their way on the ground. Now, they will start joining us as we get to that next mountaintop of events. There will be others that will join and start launching off at that next peak. But in the meantime, what we're doing is those of us who are first waivers, light workers, getting our wings. We've got our wings. This is what they're showing is the first time this has actually happened. And you know what? It aligns perfectly with this whole idea of this is the real entry point of the energies of the age of Aquarius. True entry point. I've talked about this before, how 60s, 70s, you know, whatever, that showed up, right? Well, that was all the precursor. This is it now. I have so many chills. I wish you could see. Um, 2020, as we talked about last time, was really this time where this started, the shaking and rattling and then the unleashing of all of this so we can now move forward into these new energies. And we are now, as of this equinox, and I think many of you have felt a shift and change since then, shifting and changing of energies. Manifestation is easier. And I don't mean sitting thinking, I want that thing, and then you get it. But your thoughts are things. And so what I would say to you is know that that's a wonderful thing, but we also have to be aware of what our thoughts are. We don't want to just think anything. We want to really be able to manifest what we want to see in the world. And that comes from the deep inside of us. And the work that we continue to do on ourselves, that doesn't end, even though we've got our wings and we're flying, because that's why they show the wet wings, right? It's not perfection just because you got your wings. <laughs> You're flying. But now you're overseeing what's happening and you're providing that light canopy for them. Well, I have a ton of chills on that. Wow. Um, and as you get your wings, you're buffeted about by the winds. And those are the things that we are still working on for ourselves. All right. That really never ends. We continue to grow. We continue to learn. We continue to ascend. We continue to add frequency. We continue to work through the energies that are you know, flowing through us that constantly shift and change. And as we move into the new times and to the next mountain peak in the future, we're at a higher elevation again. Okay, so they keep using that. We keep going up higher elevation, but there's the trudging on the ground that's happening with the rest of the collective. Slowly, everybody's starting to move up the next mountain in some way. And then what will happen? What will they do when they're at the next mountaintop? So I don't know what's going to happen in the metaphors that they're giving me and the visuals, but what I will tell you now is we are in a very, very different time presently. Those of us who are journeying through this as, I'll just say, the initial ones who are seeing this really collectively as a group for the first time, because people have woken up in the past individually, but there's never been this collective movement like we're seeing now. And so what we are here to do is... Okay, they just said hold that light canopy up. And that light canopy of oh, higher energies. Okay, that's what they're, they're showing. Okay, so what they're showing me is that pulling up. Remember they show the canopy, the tent, like the stanchions that hold a tent up, like an event tent up? They always give me that. But what we're doing is we're holding this beautiful light web up as we are flying across those who are on the ground fighting that battle. Because everybody's role is designed for purpose and there is reason for many to be on the ground in the good fight but there is also this great so so what's happening okay so what's happening 
All right, so what they're showing now is as we keep moving to the next mountaintop more and more as we get there to that time, butterflies will join and we will have this canopy of light that will continue to assist the rest of the collective and then the continuation of, okay, they just said others joining flight, taking flight, yep, oh, abandoning the old ways, um, creating the new earth because what we're doing is we're creating that light canopy for the rest of the collective to join us. And then essentially what, was, what will happen is, okay, they just said tipping the balance. That's kind of, I think I might have mentioned this before, kind of like the hundredth monkey situation, kind of repeating some of what I said in the past. But right now what's important for us individually to know is that I think we're going to individually see a ton of shift and change in our own journey moving forward in April. And in the sense of really knowing more of what you want for yourself in your journey, what you want in your relationships. The work that you've done now is actually going to be manifest in that. And even more so making some determinations as to who you want to be in the world and for yourself. So what you're going to see is this work that you've been doing, doesn't mean you're going to stop doing the work, but the launching off the flying as a butterfly, getting the wings, now you're going to start like pulling some of that into actual manifestation and creation and seeing these things come your way. Ooh, really parting ways with the, the, the old that no longer serves. And when you do that for yourself and you, you go through that self-discovery and that self-growth and that journey of what you will be in the future and that you want to be in the future, that just assists the collective even further forward. So again, inside job, we've talked about that. This is what we're doing now. The main significant difference is we've actually are flying now. We're flying. I mean, some of us probably, you know, flew off the mountaintop and went straight down to the floor and went, oh my God, I'm going to crash. And then kind of got our wings because they're still wet and just kept lifting up. And I mean, that's where we are. We're like trying to figure out how to fly. So just know that's where we're at. So if it feels bumpy and feels like you're buffeted by winds, remember that. That's these times. But then grab yourself center yourself back. You're going to have a lot of emotion. You're going to have a lot of things coming through, a lot of clearing still, but you got your wings. You got your wings. And that's important to know. So I hope you've taken something away from this for your journey forward over the next month or two. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm just going to remind you of my services, purplerainhealing.com, where you can check out all my channeled services. I channel through all of my services, whether it be channeled messages, where you include distance energy healing in that as well. Or if you want a soul journey session with Celeste and me, where we really cover the full breadth and depth of your soul journey, not just this incarnation. Past lives are also a specialty of mine that I bring through in most all of my sessions. And then lastly, I have spiritual awakening mentoring, which really helps guide you for it in this ascension and awakening journey on a regular basis. So if you're interested in possibly working with me, check out purplerainhealing.com. And again, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.